Derek, what if someone was in the situation where they they owe on on a mortgage more than the property's worth and that's a very realistic situation nowadays with the market softening and property values getting lower. What uh what can they do? Absolutely, that's definitely a real problem that we have right now. Um probably eight or nine out of ten are in that in that condition these days. Um, so it's a very real problem. Uh, there are options for people in that situation as well. Uh, there's a process called a short sale process. It's where uh, you work with the bank for the bank to take less than uh, they're owed. Say, say you owe four hundred thousand dollars on a property, right. and now because the mar market has shifted, it's now worth three fifty, three sixty, um, which is a very real scenario. Big shift. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you, in talking with the banks, again, knowing the right people and getting, talking to the right, um, and saying the right things to the banks, right. um, you, you can convince the bank that, one, you show them why it's worth this, and they'll also do either an appraisal themselves or what's called a broker's price opinion, where they send out a real estate agent independent to, oh. do a, do, to set, give them an opinion of what the property's worth. And then typically they'll... Uh, whatever they come back so if they come back with that it's worth 360 they'll take a little bit less than that even and then take a commission out of that as well for for a real estate agent Got so it. uh, it's a very real situation that can that can help people out that just don't know what they're going to do okay. great and obviously that gets them out of the home they no longer own a home but still they're not in financial exactly. financial trouble right what that does is it it keeps them from having to go through the foreclosure process and having having a foreclosure on the record for seven to ten years, right. so you know they, within a year or two of that, if they you know in a position to rebuild their credit, they could be back in home ownership and uh, and fix the problems that they have. As opposed to if they go through the foreclosure process, it'll be that much more difficult. Their interest rates will be that much higher within a few years. It just takes so much longer to get to get through. Whereas if it's if it's sold, then they just have some late payments on their credit, which are easier, are, you know, after a little bit of time, don't hurt their credit as bad. And I think uh, maybe, maybe people are reluctant to, to, to go through with that because they do lose their house, but at the same time, I mean, you have to look at the big picture, right? Uh, as far as like home ownership in the way, 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 way future, right? Absolutely. Um, you have to really weigh, you know, the pros and cons of each situation. I mean, is owning a home for an extra six months or 12 months possibly, depending on how you, you, know, you, you keep the scenario going, worth it and then losing it to auction? Or are you better off you know, selling it and then being able to, clean, you know, I mean, typically this, in this area anyways, the rents are so much cheaper than mortgages are anyways. Right. I mean, you, you have so much more of an opportunity to fix whatever it is that's going on if it's a financial problem right. um, it, by lessening your expenses. Right. Um, and it's difficult. I understand that you know it's the American dream, and that's what people want. And uh, it's it's difficult to say you know feel like maybe I failed. Right. But you know what? I don't look at failure as failure. I look at it as feedback. Right. You know, it's time to to learn. Well, this is what went wrong. This is what I can do different in the future. And this is the step I need to make to make my future better. Right. It's better to do it sooner than later because it's just it's that much tougher the later it gets. Yeah. Well, that's great advice, Derek. Thank you so much.